Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I think this is going to be a little bit different and it's going to be a little bit more interesting than my usual um, EXE videos because this is a little a wee bit of a voiceover. You know what I mean? So uh, basically this is Xfinity at Las uh, Vegas. Can't think. It's really late. By the way, it's like 4 in the morning while I'm recording this. But basically this was me showing off the things that I've been working on. Number one... 900 degrees steering rotation and then also um, dirty air which I think I've gotten pretty close the 900 degrees of rotation not so much but let's go ahead and be honest here this setup wasn't perfect when I started with it as you can see I'm basically already getting passed by the 18 car and then going into three I make a gigantic mistake because I you know kind of forgot that you can get loose and I almost crashed him I forgot that you could get loose when you came down across somebody's nose because they're taking all the air off the back of your car off your uh, off your back spoiler so I made a mistake but this setup isn't so great it's already smacking the ground by the second that I joined onto the track so that made this a little bit uh, easier I would say but here I am I'm sliding around even still but the point of this video is to talk about what I had to do to pass this one car after I got passed because uh, I was talking about it in my last live stream when I did uh, Chicagoland with the Xfinity car. I was working on the dirty air. I was trying to get it to work. Um, and we're getting there. It's getting close because this time around I really had to work for this position and I, I think it's because we were going a lot faster. This racetrack is super fast. So the dirty air just really kicked in super hard. But any time that I was directly behind this car. In front of me like entering. Or in the center of the corner. I was sliding up the racetrack. But thankfully since the car was set up really stupid. It was kind of helping me. But uh, as you can see here I mean. It, it, it doesn't look like it, but I can tell you when I'm driving it, it is 100% dirty air. Like, if I enter down on the bottom behind this car, uh, oh, and here we go. We're actually about to make a move. And another thing I've been working on is side draft. It actually works really well right now. Like, from what I can tell, the side drafting has never been better. But then again, I make another fucking mistake like how I did before. Stupid mistake, but here I am side drafting once again. I was actually kind of worried about how this one was going to turn out. Uh, usually you don't want to side draft into turn one like that. And by the way, the AI are bastards at this racetrack. They don't care about what your line is. And here I am going for another big piece of side draft. And I almost get this one to stick this time around. And instead of trying to clear myself, I just ran the outside knowing that I have cleaner air. Once again, getting up really close to him, grabbing as much side draft as I can going into turn one, and then I clear him coming onto the backstretch, but we're going to be dissecting this clip a couple of times, so please, please bear with me. So here we are watching basically an external view of what was going on during basically the majority of this run that was entertaining entering turn three this is the first time i got loose it's because air got sucked off the back of the car i didn't have enough rear downforce to be able to do that at that time and he just sucked me around and here we are on another clip where basically i'm going to be showing you what i was doing side drafting wise because i was having to run way higher up the track to get clean air onto the splitter and then, basically, at that point, it became, can I just side draft the shit out of him and try to get a big run and then get away? And I tried to do the same shit that I did last time around, but, uh, you know, same result. It didn't work, and I, I just got loose and made myself look dumb. But, you know, I was still trying. I was trying my damnedest to get past the 18 right here. Like, I really was trying hard. Um, and you could tell by the the recording when it's on YouTube like I am side drafting the piss out of this guy and 
he just he basically has no say in the matter because I'm on the outside. Um everything that I've been working on has been working. Like it's actually getting somewhere with the side drafting and the dirty air and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, it, it's great, but these are the fruits of my labor. Is this one specific video? So here we are on the uh, front nose camera portion because I think this is going to tell you a lot about what was going on here. I'm also going to be showing you the the door camera. But dude, I am side drafting the piss out of this dude, and you can see how big of a of a run I'm actually getting. Uh, with these cameras more so than TV1 and TV2 etc etc because I'm really getting down on top of this dude like all over his door entering the corners doing you know what I need to do to be able to pass him you can really tell on these cameras that I am I am trying my damnedest but here we go another huge side draft off the door and this was when I went into turn three thinking, okay, I'm just not going to clear myself this time. I'm just actually going to race him. And he got a great run off of turn four. And then, here we go. That was the closest that we had gotten the entire run. And guess what? I pass him in the turn one. And there you go. You can see him behind me. But the side drafting is mm, ooh, magnificent. 